So what does that mean? It means you roll an eight-sided die. You have to roll die. one to not kill this goblin. <laughs> yeah. I roll an eight-sided die. Correct. What's an eight-sided die? All right, open up so the. So go to your die menu, and then you'll yeah. see at the very top basic rolls: d4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 20. Yeah. Just hit the eight. The d8. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. No fucking way. Way? I know, right? What? Man, so the, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is that one is pretty I weak. Him, but not yeah. By it much. yeah, you killed him, but not as <laughs> explosively as we would have thought. Yeah. His head uh, did not explode on impact. You just lodged an arrow in his eye, and he stood there dumbfounded like uh, Curly from the Three Stooges. <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. So these <laughs> goblins only have three health? All right. Well, let's do the math on that. He did well, he one did damage. Three times, crit. three times is three, plus he, it. plus any particular bonuses he may have. Oh, so there's bonus. Okay. That you may or may not be aware of. So I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna rage out to kill one of these again. Then. <laughs> I think a D8 should kill him at any point. Then. Potentially. Okay, there's two bitches now. Or D10 actually. I'm in two-handed mode now. Mm. Woohoo! <laughs> Two down, no damage to the tank. Now, let me ask you, in one move, can I move my maximum distance? Yes. If you want to do it it's stealthfully, there would be other things you need to consider. Yeah, well, at this point, they know them. They know there's guys shooting arrows. Good, it's not my move anyway. Not my move, you can, not my You problem. can move. You still have the chance to move every turn, right? Well, he Even did, a, he did move. He did a rolling yeah, move to I the south. To the left. And then okay. <laughs> he rolled to the left. Roll to the right. Crisscross. Uh. Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> totally confused, Dave. Hey, you must have mentioned it when Dave James was asking me if he could watch YouTube. Oh, Damn. shit, Bob, I'm moving again. <laughs> <laughs> A damn shit pile. Oh my gosh. There's, I gotta figure out how to move this on layers. You move behind those two arcs now? Trying to. Up oh, here we go. Hold on. Do you see it at all? No. No. Oh, fudge. Just reveal that layer. I'm trying to. I can't reveal the layer that I just moved it to, but I'm trying to reveal it back to this layer. Whoops. <laughs> if you if you want to leave this ship pile. No longer visible. <laughs> we can imagine. There is still a ship pile at the entrance of the cave. I've seen it move so many times, I, I'm pretty sure I can memorize its dimensions. Aha! Do you see the ship pile? Ship pile, see. Yes. It is no longer a token. I cannot move it anymore. I fixed it! Yay! Yay. Nice Aww. work. Thank you, thank you. I'm just doing my best to give you the most enjoyable gaming experience I can, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're all having fun here. Right on. Put a couple of whores in here every now and then. These two, well, boy, it's early right. still, guys. <laughs> Come on. With the whores? <laughs> what is taking this, so these damn silvers long? Are going, these sil I'm a young, I'm a 20 year old young buck. Let's get to the city after this. Take these silvers to the whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you contemplate this in the middle of combat, as you contemplate this in the middle of combat, you realize <laughs> it. You know what? After I kill these guys, I'm going to go find me some horrors, because that uh, warrior guy promised me some money. I bet you he knows a thing or two about where to find some. But uh, the goblins, bless their sort of mind, look at, see that we're distracted and kill us, right? <laughs> All right, the goblin on your north side bing, swings at you and misses, Dave. Simultaneously, the goblin on your west side swings and misses you at will. Well, that's quite the swing for the west side goblin there, Dungeon Master. I forgot to move him. <laughs> Come on, there's dead bodies on the ground. I'm going to get these guys out of the way for now. We'll just... Suddenly, the dead bodies teleport to the other side of the screen, so you have a tally at all times. <laughs> How's that look? Everything look all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, they just missed you. Zeke, you're up. As the arrow passes across your chest, lodging itself in the eye of the goblin, which falls dead to your uh, to your immediate right. left, you bring yourself so back up to a standing position. I will side strafe here to the left to give the drow a little more uh, 
Visibility of the enemy. Very well. Zeke takes yep. what is commonly referred to as a five foot step, which prevents any other characters from having an attack of opportunity. And positions himself in a position to swing at this guy, I presume? Yes. Right. Swinging. Let's see that die roll. 20. D20, please. That is a critical uh, failure. Wah, wah, wah. Rough. Rough fail. As you uh, <laughs> prepare to swing your two-handed bastard sword as hard as you possibly can, your feet slip in the mud. That's not mud. The feet slip in the fecal matter, and in order to maintain your bearing, you to elect not to swing fully at the beast, who is actually cringing at the thought of you crashing down upon him. I'm okay with falling on my ass. Mm. I'll do my special move afterwards. I got them drunken abilities. That's right. Oh, by the way, I was drinking some ale on the way out here. Oh, boy. So, oh boy. so now you're a freaking Shaolin monk who masters the uh, <laughs> drunken monkeys drunken fighting style? Honest though I am, I might have grabbed a little a little flask of, uh, sorry, a water. Of oh, Jack Daniels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rushing forward all feet. I'll take it out of my earrings when I get back. And reaching into, reaching behind me into my quiver as I grab two arrows this time using my special ability twin strike. I fire an arrow at, one arrow at each goblin that is um, a threat to Zeke. Copy that. I'm double checking your twin strike. What this will do is give you a plus one attack bonus, plus one missile. So you will be rolling a d20 for each character that you are attacking. If you were putting both arrows at one dude, you would have been rolling them both for uh, just one. But since you're shooting at both of them, you will be shooting a d20 for each of them. Let's roll a d20 to see if you would hit that guy. He just hit two 11s. Oh, he just rolled out two 11s? Yeah. All right, so that's... Not bad, not bad. Not bad at but all. Need to double check some math here. I'm pretty sure you're going to make it. Because your attack bonus to uh, missile is plus 3, so 3 plus 11 is 14. You hit both of them. Your arrows each do 1d8 points of damage. Why don't you roll those for me? D8. 1d8, yep. correct. I rolled a 2. All right, that's uh, one character, or one uh, critter. You notice it lodges into this guy, and, and he is taken nice. aback and slumps to his knee as he... Uh, Gathers himself. Now he's uh, waist high in a pile of shit. <laughs> the other arrow strikes the other goblin square in the chest, presumably piercing his heart as uh, copious amounts of goblin blood begin spilling all over the floor. And my face. And oh, Zig's face because Zig is uh, <laughs> on his ass at the time. And now you are sitting in a pile of fecal matter, having blood spurting all over you as this goblin slumps to the ground in the pile of shit. Such is the fighter's role. Such is. <laughs> hey, why do I have an orange dot suddenly? Because you fell on your ass and you aggravated your butt hurt. I was tracking my arrows. How many do I have now? Eight? If I remember correctly, you've shot four. You have nine. This guy ignores Zeke. And comes running at you, Merrick. And he's going to give you a swing as well. He swings his mighty stick at you. <laughs> and misses. This guy, he's clearly upset. If you were to understand Goblin, you would probably think he's saying, You idiot, you can't do anything right. <laughs> and he retreats into the lair. Whose turn is it? Let me double check. Zeke, it's your move, buddy. Okay, okay. I already did the measurements of this, and I know where exactly where my dagger is. I move in. I grab my dagger, placing my sword in the one hand. I have to get up, obviously, so I don't know if, to, if I have to roll to be able to stand up. Well, tell me everything you're doing here, and then we'll work it out. Okay, so stand up from ass. There's no goblin near me. I was saving my up swipe ability, but not needed. Dashing to here, about 19 feet away. Uh, I can measure that out for you if you want. That looks good. Uh, 
picking up my dagger, which did land right here. I remember. And I'm going to throw it at the runaway goblin boss. I don't know if I can do all that in one turn, but... That sounds pretty exciting to me. I don't see why you can't. Let's review your abilities, all right? Uh, I never said that your rising strike had to be a melee, did I? So no, I, I don't not. see why you couldn't use that as a tumbling move to increase your ability to uh, strike at the target. Ha! And you tumbling strike, spend a rage. So you'll be spending a range, and it gives you an attack bonus of plus your level. And no matter what happens, the target is going to be stunned by the action. How's that sound? Sounds awesome. No more running away from him. All right, your rage bar is down. Can I get a D20? Come on! Ooh, not terrible. Not terrible? What are your total bonuses, if you remember? Uh, melee is one, attack bonus one. Or, sorry, missiles one, attack bonus one. Okay. Well, as you uh, come tumbling over, grab your dagger and do a final flip to your feet and hurl it at the beast. You unfortunately missed. Damn it. He... Nods to the left slightly as your dagger hits the side of the wall. And, uh, lodges some rocks. It is I sitting have to on sharpen the side. that dagger. You probably will have to. Ooh, uh, Mansa? Merrick? The mighty uh, Merrick the Elf? Where did my arrow go in the sky in front of me? Oh, well, I said it. <laughs> I, I said into his thigh, I believe, dropping okay. to his knees. I almost, you right. almost made me say you shot him an arrow to his knee, and then we would have had after, to stop the action. <laughs> after he swings at me and misses, I grab onto the arrow that is inside of his thigh and sidestep him. Is that too much? Go ahead, keep going. I'm listening. Let's see what we can do. Yanking on the arrow in his thigh while bashing him in the face with my bow at the same time. Sounds fair to me. Are you going to use any of your special abilities? Do you think any of them would work? I don't think there's a need for them right now. Very well. We will be treating your bow as a blunt instrument. If you hit with it, it will have to do 1d6 points of damage. If you hit with it. Okay. Go ahead and give us a I'm d20 rolling. roll. Ha! Ha, <laughs> ha, indeed. Would you care to describe how the bow strikes the head of the critter? Uh, I slap with it. Right through the freaking temple. <laughs> yeah. So slap you sidestep him. Do you sidestep him? Even despite, yeah, while uh, on the arrow. while you're yanking on the arrow, even though we all know there ain't no half-stepping, but there is sidestepping. <laughs> My DC in. Yanking on the arrow, arrow, causing him a great deal of pain, and as he grimaces in pain, you strike at him with your bow. Dealing 1d6 points of damage, if you will give me a 1d6 roll. Does 3 points of damage, plus your strength modifier, if you have any. And he slumps to the ground. But you sense that he's not necessarily dead. Just unconscious, knocked unconscious by your strike. Mm -hmm. Goblin bully stunned, right? Goblin bully is stunned. Hey, I was thinking about what I was going to do for him. Thanks for reminding me, Dave. I knew I could count on you to do so. Um... <laughs> He's stunned. He doesn't do anything. He's flabbergasted that you just did that. He's kind of looking at your <laughs> dagger. As flabbergasted as a goblin could be, I suppose. I've thought a few moves ahead. So, seeing that the goblin bully is stunned by my move, and knowing that he is clearly bigger with a near six-foot stick, or branch, or club, whatever one would want to call it. I'm going to just cut him off to the side and take a defensive position and wait for a uh, backup from the drow. All right. Well, you look over your shoulder as you're positioning and getting ready and looking back to see if he can back you up in the first place. You witness his uh, stunning maneuver as he sidesteps, yoinks on the uh, arrow, and then clubs the goblin. And as the goblin slumps to the ground, uh, Merrick the drow elf begins walking off. Tough guys don't look at explosion style. <laughs> so actually, yes. Okay, so that's actually, what you see. Now it's Merrick's move, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> pardon me. Actually, I 
placing a foot on the unconscious goblin's chest and snatching the arrow out of his thigh, freeing it. I fire it at the uh, goblin bully within the uh, lair. In one fluid move, the arrow is yoinked from the thigh of the slumping beast, redrawn and knocked within the bow and loosed upon the bully. I'm sure this measurement's fine, yeah. Yeah, I measure Mansa, would you like to utilize any of your special abilities before firing? No, I already fired 11. 11? Yeah. Plus your defensive, uh, I'm sorry, plus your dexterity bonus, if I'm not mistaken? Oh, yeah. Which is what? Oh, yeah, I've been forgetting to think about my strength bonus. Does my strength give me a bonus to my damage, too, or anything? Like it does. Oh, I didn't bring that up earlier. Oops. It's okay. Dexterity is 17. <clears throat> right, and your bonus to dexterity is 3, so so far you're rolling a 14 yeah. on one arrow, is that correct? Yep. That's the math I got. And you're not using any of your special abilities, such no. as your focus strike, which you can use outside of melee? Yeah, I guess I will use that. <laughs> Very well. Your focus strike increases your attack bonus by your level divided by 2, which we happen to know is 1. Plus your dex bonus again. So that's an additional four to your roll. You have rolled an 18. Killed a crit. 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 It, because the 18 was created and not rolled, it is not actually a natural, which we would call a crit. Okay. Okay. You have fatigued all of your mana on that shot. The arrow what? did strike. <laughs> yeah, I know. So the arrow did strike. You will give oh, me, please, a uh, 1D... What is it, an 8 for the longbow? 1D10? Remind roll, me. Roll a 10. Well, Off remind me. Longbow. Look at your character sheet and tell me what your uh, what your bow and arrow bonus damage is. I have discovered it. It is a... Damage is 1D8. So you will roll a 1D8 and apply any bonus damage modifiers. A 2. You're very good at rolling low numbers. <laughs> I am, right? <laughs> Shit. This, the order should be low numbers. Well, it is what it is. You loose your arrow. It strikes the beast in its arm, shocking it back do? into consciousness, Dave. It is no longer befuddled by the fact that your dagger flew past him. Instead, he now reacts by screaming in rage. Ah! As if to say, why note, me? Do, what was that? We should do Mansa, on a side note, we should do Mansa bonus night where we flip all the rolls. A <laughs> 2 would be an 18, a 3 would be a 17, so on and so forth. I understand. <laughs> Mansa bonus night. <laughs> Poor Mansa. The uh, goblin bully makes haste to the side of the cavern to avoid the arrows from the elf. Dave, let me go ahead and reveal a little more because you're in closer. How's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have a plan for this. Mansa, guy. because you're over there, I'll reveal this side. Dave, you don't see it. <laughs> you, both of you, neither of you see the other side. No meta gaming. Gotcha. It's all good. Understood. All right, so he goes over here and hides behind this rock. And he's kneeling behind a rock in front of him. And Zeke, it is your turn to act. I am going to dash to the fire and pull a flaming stick that is somewhat out of the fire, not all on fire, from the side of the fire and use it as another missile. <laughs>